Bill Nuttall's work as a dealer has been part of the Melbourne scene since the 1970s and his gallery is now widely recognised as one of the most important in Australia. And for that reason, it's not surprising that he also represents a number of the most important artists in Australia, and that includes Melbourne's leading painter at the moment, I think, uh, Rick Amor, as well as a number of younger artists, some Aboriginal artists. Bill Nuttall's personal style and taste communicates itself through several generations of artists. And approached by a group of collectors who recognised Nuttall as being in a good position to uh, prepare, an uh, prepare a collection, an important collection, uh, Nuttall was commissioned with a budget, strict budget, but with a very open-ended theory or philosophy that he could buy what he liked for these collectors. And so it's not surprising that we see some of Bill Nuttall's own artists in this group, in this collection. The collection, incidentally, comprises some 73 paintings by artists of all generations from Australia and some international artists. The most eminent artists from Bill Nuttall's own gallery, from Naval Galleries, or are represented. But also we see works by Robert Klippel, uh, Noel McKenna, wonderful work by Ewan McLeod, and a number of other artists who are now senior members. They're not young contemporaries, and yet their work operates within that format of contemporary art very comfortably. I'm thinking of Gareth Sansom in particular, and Richard Larter, who are both artists who've always been at the more radical end of artistic production in Australia. In addition, there's a strong suit in urban Aboriginal artists, and I'm thinking of Daniel Boyd, Gordon Bennett is represented. These are artists who have uh, an undoubted flair for design and for the, just the graphic strength of paintings. And yet there's also an undoubted political element to their work. It's a fascinating school. It's probably the most interesting school of contemporary art in Australia at the moment. And the examples by Daniel Boyd in particular uh, in, our, in this collection are exceptional. One of my favourite painters in the collection is Brad Westmoreland, whose work I've been looking at at various, at a number of exhibitions at Niagara Galleries over the years, who caught my eye a few years ago, and I keep coming back to them. Uh, his work reminds me of Sansom, whose work I also admire, and also Ken Wisson. Uh, but the thing about Westmoreland, Brad Westmoreland, that I like is he reminds me of those paintings produced by Matisse and Cezanne in the key years of modernism. I think he's a very interesting painter. The paintings from this collection are very in price, but I think you'll find that in most cases they're priced very meaningfully. This is an opportunity for collectors to acquire works by young artists, some of whom are not necessarily mature and fully established in the world at prices which I think are very reasonable. It's highly recommended exhibition and a very good opportunity to, to participate in contemporary art at the moment. Mm -hmm.